Hello, and welcome to the Pearl River Community College Physical Therapist Assistant Program Information Session. My name is Tracy Thornton, and I'm an instructor in the PTA program here at PRCC. I'm also joined by our program director, Karina Lee, and our program secretary, Sonetta Bolton. You will see several pictures um, that are displayed throughout our PowerPoint, and these are our students and various community service projects around our community. So a little bit about physical therapy. So PTs and PTAs are really considered the movement experts in the healthcare field. Um, so we're usually the professionals who diagnose and treat individuals of all ages with medical problems, health-related conditions, um, or other injuries or illnesses that can limit the ability for patients to move and perform functional activities in their daily lives. So the role that we play in healthcare is to diagnose and manage movement dysfunction and enhance physical and functional abilities. We also restore, maintain, and promote optimal physical function, wellness and fitness, quality of life as it relates to movement and health. We're also very much involved in the prevention of onset symptoms, progression of diseases and illnesses. So just a little bit about where PTs, PTAs work. So you can find us in acute care settings in traditional hospital, um, extended care facilities, which are your traditional nursing home settings, as well as home health, hospice, industrial and workplace environments, local, state, and federal governments, outpatient clinics, rehabilitation hospitals, research centers, school districts, and then in wellness prevention, sports, and fitness centers. So just a few examples of conditions that are treated by PTAs include arthritis, back pain, balance issues, burns and wounds, uh, developmental delays that are typically seen in babies and children, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, dislocations, fractures, all types of injuries, headaches, even incontinence, um, all the way down to sports injuries and neurological conditions such as stroke, traumatic brain injury, and spinal cord injuries. So one of the most important things that um, we look for in our applicants and we also teach our students and expect of them as they become professionals are the core values of our profession as PTs and PTAs. And those are accountability, altruism, compassion and caring, excellence, integrity, professional duty, and social responsibility. So just a few little more things about the profession of physical therapy and physical therapist assistance. So it is a job that has a high job satisfaction according to CNN Money. It's an A for personal satisfaction. Forbes continues to rank it as the 10 happiest jobs. 78% um, polled said they were very satisfied with their chosen career. So it is a job with lots of benefits and lots of job satisfaction. As far as the job outlook goes for PTAs, uh, so physical therapy employment is expected to grow by 36% through the year 2024. This is according to U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics in 2018. Um, it's still considered um, as the best jobs in America based on U.S. News and Royal Report, one of the fastest growing jobs in America, with highest growth expected still in rural areas and in the field of geriatrics. So some of the benefits of a career as a physical therapist assistant include making a difference in the lives of your patients um, and in their families and caregivers, being a movement expert that people in the community and family and friends can turn to, being able to enjoy job security, loving what you're doing, being able to choose your location. We have several of our graduates who have gone on to work in several different places all over the nation to include traveling positions where they travel every few months to a different location. You can also be an entrepreneur. So several of our PTA graduates have gone on to either manage or own their own clinics. So some questions that we get asked include, what are the key differences between OT and PT? 
So physical therapy, job duties are going to include more diagnosing of physical problems that restrict movement because of illness, because of injury, or because of congenital defects. And we use exercises, other techniques, modalities, things like that to ease pain, boost, boost mobility and muscle strength, develop fitness and wellness programs, helping patients regain mobility skills, returning to previous functional level, and also making recommendations about adaptive equipment like wheelchairs and walkers, in addition to using specific manual techniques such as massage and stretching. Occupational therapy has some overlap with what we do, and they focus a lot also on functional outcomes of the patient. Um, they emphasize helping patients with daily living skills, self-care tasks, supporting patients with memory loss, also making recommendations about adaptive equipment, um, addressing school tasks such as handwriting and using scissors, and working on behavior modification plans with patients. So let's talk about education and what it requires in physical therapy education. So for a PT or PTA degree, to practice as a physical therapist in the United States, you need to earn a doctorate of physical therapy degree from a program accredited by the Commission on Accreditation in Physical Therapy Education, or CAPTI, and pass a licensure exam. To practice as a physical therapist assistant, you need to earn an associate's degree in physical therapist assistant technology from a program accredited by CAPTI also and pass a licensure exam. As far as the differences in PT and PTA education, the length of a PTA PT program is typically three years following a three to four year bachelor's degree process. Um, a PTA program is typically two years. Um, our program does not require prerequisites, so you could uh, start our program out of high school um, without any prerequisites. Um, time in classroom and lab is usually about 80% of the program, um, with time spent in clinical education about 20% of the program. For us, uh, the clinical experiences includes a three-week summer clinical rotation as well as three five-week rotations in the last spring semester. So there are 18 weeks total of clinical experience in our program. So the primary content areas in the curriculum are going to include an emphasis in biology and anatomy, physiology, exercise physiology, biomechanics, as well as kinesiology and neuroscience, pharmacology, pathology, and behavioral sciences. We also really stress communication skills, ethics and values, sociology, clinical reasoning skills, um, how to utilize evidence-based practice, and a systems approach that includes endocrine, metabolic, musculoskeletal, neuromuscular, cardiovascular, and pulmonary systems. So the physical demands of the PTA are important because they are also demands that are part of our program curriculum. A physical therapist assistant has job-related physical demands that are rated at about of a medium work level by the U.S. Department of Labor, which means there will be frequent 20-pound lifting and infrequent lifting of 50 pounds and over. Typical energy requirements at this level for a PTA is moderate to high. Uh, typical physical job demands of a PTA include prolonged walking, prolonged sitting, pushing wheelchairs and other equipment, bending and squatting, assisting patients with exercises, and transferring of patients in excess of 100 pounds. As part of the Pearl River Community College PTA curriculum, students are asked to perform various physical activities that will include transferring patients, lifting, carrying, pushing, pulling heavy objects, prolonged sitting, prolonged standing, walking, squatting, reaching, handling, manipulating small objects, cardiovascular workouts on therapeutic equipment, and isotonic, isokinetic, or isometric exercise programs. Your student experience in our program will also include exposure to various forms of mechanical, radiant, thermal, acoustic, and electrical energy as part of learning modalities in electrotherapy and potential exposure to chemicals that we use for cleaning purposes. 
Your student experience will also include close physical contact and touch with other students, faculty, and patients during your clinical rotations. This will occur under the supervision of academic and clinical instructors to promote learning of physical therapy skills. Other demands that we require of our students include skills of observation. You need to have accurate visual, auditory, and tactile observation of patients, of instruments, of therapeutic devices, of all lab equipment in order to process information correctly. You also need to have very appropriate and effective written, oral, and nonverbal communication skills with sensitivity to individual cultural and economic differences for patients. Um, and effective electronic communication with sensitivity to the laws that surround that. You also need to be able to interpret scientific terms into lay terms for patients. We also require resource time and stress management skills in order for you to be able to manage your personal resources, time and stress so that you can have a full-time, part-time academic course load as well as a full patient caseload in directed practice in your clinical education. We also require a high level of professionalism, ethics, and conduct. So your personal conduct, dress, and hygiene should be professional, safe, ethical, and legal. And we follow the guidelines with the American Physical Therapy Association standards of ethical conduct for the physical therapist assistant and values-based behaviors for the PTA as well. You also must have good cognitive functioning so that you can problem solve in a timely manner, perform critical analysis, and perform independent critical thinking. So just some facts about our program at Pearl River Community College. Our PTA program became fully accredited on May 4th, 1994. We have been re-accredited in 1999. 2009 and again in 2019. So we are currently accredited through June 30th, 2029. Currently we have a 100% passage rate average for the last four years on the national licensure exam, as well as a 100% job placement of all graduates that are seeking employment. So let's talk a little bit about our application requirements. So I've included those links for you on this slide. And as you can see, you would go to www.prcc.edu. Um, and under academics, under plans, we're under allied health and nursing, and you will find us under the two-year programs as physical therapist assistant technology. So you can go to that and find out how to apply to our program through that process. So both of those links are included on this slide. Now let's talk about our application requirements to PRCC PTA program. First of all, you will need to complete an application to Pearl River Community College and be accepted into the college. Then you will need to make sure that you get all of your official transcripts from high school and every college attended, no matter how long you attended, even if you only took dual enrollment or a couple of courses. We'll also need your ACT scores, and this can come from the official ACT site, or if you're not able to obtain them there, um, then they should be on your high school transcript. You'll need to complete the online application for admission to the PTA program on our website. Please make sure that your phone number and email address are always up to date. If those change um, after you do this online application, you'll need to contact us to update that because that is, that's how we contact you. Um, you'll need to attend an information session as part of our application requirements, and that is accomplished by viewing um, this information session online. We'll also need a copy of your Mississippi driver's license or ID. Um, and please know that all of these materials, including official transcripts, are due to us um, in April of every year by the deadline posted on the website. Um, also, you need to know that in-state students do have a priority into our program. Um, no prerequisite coursework is necessary to apply. Um, we do have um, a special 
um, category for high school student applicants and they must have a 3.5 GPA or above in our formulation for, uh, for admissions. Um, you also must pass a satisfactory background check in order to um, be accepted into our program. So our Pearl River Community College PTA curriculum and requirements are also listed on our webpage um, in that same place in www.prcc.edu. Um, when you find Physical Therapist Assistant Technology, you can locate our curriculum. So let's go over that. Um, so uh, once accepted into the program, the first fall semester of our program has one PTA course, Fundamental Concepts, um, of physical therapy. The other courses are your academic requirements. So if you have already met those academic requirements, then you don't have to retake those unless you have not had um, A and P 1 and 2 within the last three years, and then we require that you retake those courses. Okay. So if you have all of the academics and, and you don't have a need for financial aid, then you would only need to take that one PTA course. However, and we'll talk stress again later, if you need financial aid or have scholarship or financial aid, you will need to take 15 hours. So we will have to find other courses for you to take for those other hours that semester. Second semester, you'll actually have three PTA courses, kinesiology, electrotherapy, and fundamental skills of physical therapy. So those courses um, will all be PTA courses, and then any academics that you have not completed by that time, you will complete that semester. In that summer, in June, you'll take Therapeutic Modalities 1, um, and then in the second part of the summer in July, you'll go on your first clinical experience for three weeks. That following fall, you'll have therapeutic exercise one, therapeutic exercise two, pathology, and then a simulated uh, clinical skills course um, where we also do some collaboration with William Carey DP2 students. That following spring, you will be in clinical education full time for your three final rotations, five weeks at different sites uh, to complete your PTA educational experience. So let's talk about how to calculate your application score. So let's start with Bonnie. So Bonnie has at least 12 or more hours of program course semester hours. That doesn't mean that she just has 12 college hours. This means that of our required courses, Bonnie has at least 12 hours. That would include things like English Comp 1 and College Algebra, General Psychology, A&P 1 and 2 with labs. Things like that are considered our program course semester hours. So Bonnie has at least 12 of those. So here's how we will calculate Bonnie's score. Bonnie has an ACT of 26. And if you will look on our score sheet on that graph, it will show you that that 26 corresponds to 21. So we take 21 points and we say that times 20%. And that will give us 4.2. Bonnie also has an overall college GPA of 3.7. That corresponds to 18 on the chart. So we say that times 40% to get 7.2. Bonnie also has a program core course GPA. So those are the courses that she's had that are part of our program of 3.5. That corresponds to a 16 and that will be times 40% as well to get 6.4. Now, when calculating your score, we subtract one point for each repeated course where the original grade was F. And we also subtract one point for each course taken with resulting grade of F. So whether it was repeated or not, if the original grade was F, you subtract one point for each of those. So Bonnie has one F, that will give her negative 1.0 on that. Also, we will grant you one point for 16 hours of observation. It doesn't matter if you have 16, 160, or 1600, it's still worth one point. 
If you have less than 16, it's not a point. So Bonnie has 18 hours of observation, so she gets one point for that. So we calculate Bonnie's total score as 4.2 plus 7.2 plus 6.4 plus 1.0 for the observation, minus one for her 1F on her transcript to get to 17.8. So this is her preliminary score that goes into the Excel spreadsheet. So how do we calculate your score if you have less than 12 hours of program course semester hours or no college credit? So maybe you're coming out of high school or maybe you've had very little college or maybe you've had a lot of college but just not 12 hours of our program course semester hours. So Clyde would be an example of that. So Clyde has an ACT of 24, so we would take um, his ACT of 24 and we would look at the high school graph for that. That would correspond to 19 on that times 40% equals 7.6. We then look at Clyde's high school GPA. He has a high school GPA of 3.8. That corresponds to 14 times 60% equals 8.4. So Clyde did one point he did, six, he did 26 observation hours, so he gets one point for observation hours. It doesn't matter that he did 10 more than the 16. He still gets the same one point. And he does not have any Fs on his college work that he may have done to this point. Okay? Now, we are not ca calculating any college work for him because, remember, he does not have at least 12 hours of program course semester hours. So Clyde's total score would be 7.6 plus 8.4 plus 1 equals 17.0. So both Bonnie and Clyde's scores will be put into that Excel spreadsheet and it would rank those. We take the top 40 to 50 in order to interview from that point. And then we use those preliminary scores and add the interview scores in order to pick our um, class. So a little bit about what's going on in uh, PTA. So some new developments. There are now ways to specialize once you are a graduate um, and are licensed. There are advanced proficiency pathways for PTAs. So PTAs can now specialize in cardiovascular and pulmonary, acute care, geriatrics, neurology, orthopedics, pediatrics, sports physical therapy, wound management, and pretty soon uh, women's health care as well. So on those advanced proficiency pathways for PTAs, once you do graduate and obtain your license and begin practicing, then the APTA has courses that you can complete in those specialty areas and there are proficiency area specific content with skills checkoffs, and then um, you also have a mentor that helps guide you through the process. Let's talk a little bit about financial aid. So I just uh, need to make sure that you are taking responsibility for applying for your financial aid, either uh, making sure you do your FAFSA and also your state aid requirements. Um, you do need to know that you must take 15 hours if you are on any type of financial aid or scholarship. So if you have the academic uh, co-requisites for the PTA a curriculum, you'll need to take other courses to fill in those hours, especially the first semester. Um, also know that you can apply for WIA or work study programs. Um, I do need to let you know that Sonetta Bolton is our outstanding program secretary, um, but she also does two other programs. So she does PTA, OTA, and surgical technology. She is extremely busy running these three programs. Please do not wait until the last minute to ask any questions, check on your application status, and always give at least 48 hours for return of your call or your email uh, from her or for one of us. 
Additional resources that you also need to know. Our application deadline for Pearl River Community College PTA program is always in April. Um, that date will be posted on the website. This requires that all materials uh, that go with your application process be submitted by the state. This is a firm deadline. It will not be expanded for any reason. So please make sure you use your time wisely. Plan to have all application materials completed and turned in by the end of the day. This includes ACT scores or your observation hours uh, need to be emailed, submitted by the end of that day as well, um, and any other um, application materials. You can email those to Sonetta at smbolton at prcc.edu. Um, you can also uh, submit things or ask questions to Karina at KK Lee at prcc.edu or to me, Tracy Thornton, T. Thornton at prcc.edu. Our interview dates are to be determined, but you will be notified if you've been chosen for an interview and will be given a time to come on that day. You also need to be aware that you'll be required to travel up to one to two hours away for your clinical rotations, and you'll be responsible for any housing costs and all living expenses that are incurred during that rotation. We're really proud of our program here at Pearl River Community College, and we're proud of our students and our graduates. Um, we're proud of our job placement and the fact that we have, they have jobs waiting on them. We have requests for our graduates to take jobs upon graduation. It is a very stressful program and we expect a lot out of our students. We do have fun though, as you can see by this uh, slide, and we try to um, prepare you uh, for entry level practice by the time you finish our program. Some additional resources that can help you, especially in this day and age online. So uh, the American Physical Therapy Association at www.apta.org has very good resources for students or for um, potential students um, that are looking into careers in physical therapy. www.moveforwardpt.com as well. And then www.apta.org um, slash PT career slash ask to student um, has a specific blog forum where you can actually uh, chat with um, a PT or PTA student about potential questions you may have. Um, the Commission on Accreditation and Physical Therapy Education website is included here as well. Um, you can see that our program is on there. I would also caution you if you are looking at applying to other programs, make sure that that program is accredited. Um, you want to make sure that when you graduate, you are able to sit for your national board exam and practice as a therapist. If the program is not currently accredited, there is no guarantee that you would be able to complete that process. I've also included Federation of State Boards of Physical Therapy here and the Academic Council of the American Physical Therapy Association. I hope this information session has answered most, if not all, of your questions concerning the application process. If you do have any questions, please feel free to email us um, to um, ask anything you need to know or to make sure that we have received your materials. Also, please make sure that on the observation form that you submit that as soon as possible and you can also uh, take a picture or scan that and email that to us to show us proof of your observation hours. Um, Thank you.